Hello, hope all is well. My name is Khalil, and I want to share with you all, whoever may uh, see this video, um, God willing, everyone that uh, is supposed to see it sees it. Uh, this video is spare of the moment. I um, apologize for not having something more rehearsed. Maybe I'll do it after uh, this one, but I do feel compelled right now in my spirit just to um, make a video unrehearsed and honestly... Uh, feels very important like urgent so I just got to do it and I got to try to be obedient to the spirit whenever I can so anyway make a long story short um, I am uh, obviously a follower of Jesus Christ I uh, seen hell uh, the Lord showed me hell um, in 2008 uh, I'm not sure what month of that year but he definitely did uh, show me it um, obviously I I can't say that I don't try to think about him uh, often um, I do think about it often. I've had a, a number of, I guess you would call them supernatural experiences where God has uh, revealed to me certain things. Um, but anyway, make a long story short, uh, 2008, I was in the uh, vehicle with my uh, wife and we were leaving a neighborhood that we were staying, staying in rather in Charlotte and C. Um, upon leaving the neighborhood, I looked up out the window while she was driving and I looked up out the window. I didn't tell her. And I told her eventually, but I didn't even tell her when I seen it that minute. Um, I wasn't scared because uh, I did feel the presence of God uh, near me. And um, I'm, I wasn't sure why he was showing me. Uh, but obviously it was for a reason. Uh, being that God doesn't do anything for, you know, reason, for no reason at all. But anyway, I look up in the sky. And there's a still picture of hell. Still picture, yes. I didn't see anything moving. Um didn't hear any screams I seen uh, what is described as the lake of fire what is described like every other uh, testimony of uh, people claiming to have um, seen hell or been to hell even um, pretty much the same description uh, I did see uh, male and females obviously and a lake um, a lake that seemed like it was more of a river it was like around a bend type like like curving around I'm going to try to describe it to you best, so um, bear with me if you would. But a lake, more, it seemed like if anything it was, it maybe a river leading into a lake or uh, some, yeah, a river leading into a lake, but it seemed like it was on the shore. And I did see people, again, I seen male and females. Um, I did not see uh, their race or anything. In fact, I didn't even see any eyes, any mouths or anything at all. I, uh, the picture was in black and white. It was a still picture. And uh, I did and I could tell that the people were trying to get out of the lake of fire. They were trying to um, get to the shore. Now, on the shore, the strangest thing, and um, it is what it is. I mean, if you listen to all these testimonies, they're all they're all unreal, to be honest with you. But it is reality. I do believe in my heart. I know in my heart that this is absolutely real um and hell is real uh but anyway there was a demon uh if i can describe the demon it was a um like opposite of an angel pretty much seemed like he was an angel but on the bad side did have wings had his hands or had his looking down at the uh, people in there with his hands crossed as if he was a guard or something um strangely he wasn't pushing any of them but he was standing in between two giant hands. I seen giant hands and arms literally like this. And they the hands itself were bigger than him. Um, I am 5'10". Obviously, the hands were bigger than me. If I could use my uh, imagination, I can imagine. I can say probably the hands could push anybody that was like 7 foot. It can push them back people-wise. And it can at least push probably about... If you were to <laughs> grab some little uh, Barbie dolls or some little McDonald's men and get about 12 of them for each hand and just keep pushing them back, that's a good description of what I saw. Uh, giant hands. Why? I don't know. I didn't see the giant person or where the hands were coming from because, again, it was a picture. I don't know how Jesus did it. I don't know how uh, God showed me. I still don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Um Honestly, I just looked up in the sky and it was a still large picture of hell. He didn't have to tell me it was hell. I knew it was hell. My soul and my heart, I knew it was hell. 
I'd never seen it, but I knew it. I knew exactly what I was seeing. Another strange part that I uh, noticed were um, creatures inside the lake of fire um, with eyes, sort of like uh, hippo eyes. If you can um, imagine hippos looking out of the water while they're in the lake and all you see is their eyes, I've seen that inside. I mean, I'm not saying, I don't know exactly what they were, uh, what it was, but again, that's the only thing that I can describe it uh, as far as now they weren't burning, of course. I'm assuming they, you know, had something to do with that torture in there, but um, for you people that like to hear, you know, scripture behind it, you know what I mean? Uh, simple Revelations 21 and 8, I mean, that's it. Um, that is the most authentic you know I mean description besides all the other ones that's in the Bible but you know that one specifically talks about uh, their proportion will be in the lake that burns with fire sulfur which is the second death and that's one that comes close of it because it talks about liars adulterers uh, sexual immoral and uh, murderers things that I saw but read that I mean that's just for people you know just for those people who just gotta <clears throat> You know, hard at heart, don't want to believe, you know what I mean? And and I'm not sitting here saying that it's something to just believe. I mean, let's face it, you know what I mean? I don't care who you are on a spiritual level. If you're on earth, you're on earth. And while you're on earth, this is the reality. What's the reality? Our natural. This is our senses. And with that being said, sometimes it can be a little challenging to uh, receive spiritual insight or, in, you know what I mean, be enlightened by spiritual things. So, you know, I'm not knocking you, but at the end of the day, man, the evidence is there, man. Um, it's there. Again, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to. It's just, I guess, I never had the urge to actually make it publicly known. Um, but by way of uh, YouTube as of now. And I guess I'll start, you know, telling people as the Holy Spirit leads me to. Um, I didn't get saved once I seen hell. I was saved prior to. So, that didn't make me... Uh, you know, give my life to Christ. Um, again, I mean, I'm saved. You know, what I mean, even if I, even though I seen that, I still, I didn't f get scared or anything. As if I was going because I wasn't under the impression I was going. I just seen hell. That's the only thing I can say. I seen it. So, um, again, it's out here. I don't know what this is for. I mean, I'll, hopefully it'll reach you. And you know, as usual, I just recommend that you find. Christ, that you give your life to Christ, that you always repent, always repent as the Holy Spirit lets it known to you, even us as believers, the ones that's already in the faith, we have to always, always repent, always be striving, pressing towards the high calling of Jesus Christ. Amen.